In this video we are building Task Collector by using nothing more than 3D printers. To make the project more interesting it will be fully transparent. This Task Collector will be used for my CNC, Makera Carvera Air. Right now my vacuum cleaner is connected to the CNC directly. This has a big problem. All the dust will be sucked into the vacuum cleaner and it gets full pretty quickly. To fix this we should collect the dust before it reaches to the vacuum cleaner. This is where the dust collector that we build and test in this video comes into play. The whole project can be 3D printed and this is what we are going to do. Also to make this even more convenient, I designed quick connector that makes the connecting it to CNC or regular vacuum cleaner attachment super easy. I think we should start with those ones. To 3D print quick connectors I plan to use nylon to make sure it will last. I have three really different options from Sun Liu for this job. Easy nylon, nylon 6 carbon fiber and nylon 12 carbon fiber. Every one of them have their own application and benefits but for my application PA6 or easy nylon makes the most sense. Because the PA6 is extremely strong I think this is just overkill and I went for easy nylon. I started by printing quick connectors and those two small things that will hold the tube connected to it. Easy nylon makes the printing process easier by reducing warping and water absorption but at the same time maintaining all the benefits of the nylon. After I burned myself with 100 degree build plate I got a closer look to my first prints with this filament. Well the connectors itself turned out flawless the same I cannot say to those tube parts. This actually doesn't affect the usability of those models but still it would be nice if they look a little bit better. So I reprinted those with different printing direction and using supports. Well this didn't help. Now I redesigned the outside of the model by removing those deep overhangs and now it's something to be happy with. Now when I have the models printed I assemble those to the tube. This is nothing more than screwing few M2 screws. It holds on nicely and it also has little rotational movement which make it a little easier to avoid tension or twists in the tube. Meanwhile I assemble those things, my next prints are ready. Those things going on the quick connector. One of them is just a vacuum cleaner attachment and other is to directly connect the dust collector to the Carvera Air. Everything at this end of the tube seems to work exactly as it should. So we can move on to the other end. Here is the final product. This is just a prototype but one we are going to build is exactly the same thing except one part. The heart of this project. The cyclone separator. Right now it's boring looking natural PTG but I ordered a completely transparent one from PCB way. This boring looking dust cyclone separator will be replaced with one completely transparent resin 3D printed one. This gives us the ability to see inside and see how the dust and air will be separated. PCB Way Resin 3D printed this one for me, but this is not all they do. They also have CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication and even injection molding service. Ordering something from PCB Way is super easy. Just select the preferred production method, upload your 3D model, choose the material and the PCB Way will do the rest. I have used their 3D printing and CNC machining service countless times and every single time I am surprised by the quality and the simplicity of the process. So if you need something but you don't have right machines, skills or tools, PCB way is your one stop solution. So now when we have the new and improved dust separator we have to remove the old one and install the new one. This sounds really simple and it is but there is just a lot of unscrewing. When I took the whole dust collector into pieces now I had to do the exactly same thing in reverse. So again lot of screwing. For the seal between the separator and the top lead I use a piece of TPU filament. By the way the transparent lead on top is acrylic that I got by myself with Xtool PTU. Also the bucket lead that have right size holes and screw holes cut into it. But now when this is back together again well first of all it looks already so cool. But most importantly we can attach the other end of the tube to the collector and we should be done. I used one super strong glue to attach this to the dust separator. This end is not removable and it doesn't need to be. That's why I glued the tube to the separator permanently. So now when the whole thing should be ready and the glue is dried we install the vacuum cleaner to the top and do the first test. 
Well, this is working, but the noise is insane for some reason. Like for video, I turned the volume down, but what I hear is absolutely insane. To see does it work, I set up a job for my new desktop CNC, Makera Garvera Air. I'm not cutting anything specific, just one big pocket for random piece of food to generate dust. I let the CNC work for a few minutes, then we have a bit more dust to collect. When I turned the vacuum cleaner on, it started working instantly, exactly as it should. But oh boy, I struggled to get good footage. It's insanely hard to record the dust spinning around there. I played around with the lighting, shutter speed and the camera angles and well, I got something. But I'm not really satisfied with the footage. The whole point of this transparent dust collector is to show you how the dust is collected. But I didn't do a really good job. By the way, I also want to remind you, the noise what I'm hearing is extremely loud and sharp. For the video, I had to turn it down at least 85%. I also had an issue. The vacuum cleaner overcame the strength of the plastic bucket, aka dust collector. This bucket should and will be replaced, but for now, I fix it temporarily. To get a bit better video of the device while it's working, I moved to different location and I'm going to suck some dust. So here is how it went. I turned on some background music because the noise was just so annoying. First of all, I had to hear this whole time while testing this. And then, when I edit the video, I got completely tired of it. Believe me, if I didn't turn the volume way down and didn't add the music, this video would be unwatchable. But if you forget about the noise, the project turned out exactly as I hoped for. First of all, there is no question about this. It works perfectly. Also, the fact that this is transparent gave me the opportunity to show you, and for myself, how it works and what happening inside. This was the main goal of this project, but also I got perfectly working dust collector for my Carvera Air, and I don't need to suck the saw or aluminium dust straight to the vacuum cleaner anymore. If you have a big enough 3D printer and wanna build this by yourself, the link is down below. If you are still here, big thanks for watching, and if you don't mind, watch this video more 20 times for YouTube algorithm. But for now, Bye.